In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Fallout 4 crashing on PC. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly fix issues attributed to Fallout 4 crashing. Usually this happens on newer modern hardware. Because the game is quite old, it can have some conflicts with newer graphics card, such as the RTX enabled cards. So for this method that I'm gonna show you in this video, all that you have to do is first go over to documents and my games this folder should be created by default once you run fallout 4 once you have the get my games folder go inside and then fallout 4 so once you go over to documents my games and then fallout 4 you will find a bunch of files first right click fallout 4.ini and then choose the option to edit with notepad you can also go over to open with notepad but regardless you just have to make sure that you open this file now what we're gonna do here is change a bunch of settings, so these are the default settings for the games. And because, like I said, it has a lot of conflicts with newer hardware, we need to look for all of these settings that I've highlighted here and substitute them. So, for example, this one under display on fallout4.ini is set to 1, so B and V God Rays enabled 1, we set this to 0, and then we just do the same for all other settings, so you can pause the video and copy them if needed. So make sure that you only search for the setting, see if it exists, if it doesn't, you move on to the other one, and you just keep going through all of them. Like I said, this is going to fix any issues attributed to the game, because newer hardware has trouble using these settings here. So for Fallout4.ini, we only have to change God Rays. Make sure that you save the changes afterwards. Now, right click fallout 4 prefsini and do the same thing, open with Notepad. And once again, you can repeat this process. So copy everything, try to find it here, and then make sure that you replace them with zero. If they are set to one, set them to zero. So just keep going through all of them and you will be able to get this issue resolved. Once again, we only need this one. And then the last one, volumetric lightning enabled. As long as we set these all to zero, you will be able to run the game without any issues, even on newer hardware, and those incompatibilities should go away. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Fallout 4 crashing on PC. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.